that I'm back at the airport again for round three of the Lifetime Grand Prix series. This time I'm off to Utah, Crusher in the Tusha week. Woo! I'm here with Alan, my bike box, customised, look at this. Very nice, thank you very much, Violet's Relic. All checked in, about to do my third trip to the US, 10 and a half hour flight, get used to jet lag, but not only jet lag, get used to altitude as well. So I've got eight days to get to Utah, get to Salt Lake City. Hopefully I've got a bit of genetic where I can just get used to altitude somehow. And then it is time for Crusher in the Tusha. Can't wait for this adventure. Obviously Unbound went pretty well. But I'm not gonna put any pressure on myself, just go and do the best job I can. Yeah, and be as competitive as I can too. So, just touched down, got about an hour's drive now to a family friend's place where I'll be staying in Salt Lake City for the week before I head to Beaver for the race next Thursday. But I've picked up a bit. I was supposed to get this one short car. Off for my first ride in Orem, so just outside Salt Lake City. Just gonna go steady because obviously I'm already at altitude, so need to get used to that. Um, you can see the mountains behind me. Heading to do a two and a half hour route. It's like 1500 meters of climbing or something. Crazy. How mad is this? I've just done about 25K steady climb. But look, I'm surrounded by these mountains. Heart rate is definitely higher, probably about 10, 15 beats higher than normal. Altitude is something else, but literally, I thought I'd done the best roads in America, but I think it's just stepped up another level. I can't get over these mountains. Look at them in the background. Outrageous. So I've just done my first route of the trip. And then I took my bike to a bike shop just because I needed the gears tweaking. Post-travel, they're being a bit funky. And I was, whilst I was there, I was just like, oh, do you have any gravel route recommendations? And they're, they're giving me some. And then they were like, oh yeah, there's loads of animals around on this route. Route, sorry. And I was like, oh yeah, what kind of animals? They're like, oh, bears. Bears, brill. What else? Oh, moose. Okay, okay, do I need to worry about them then? And they were like, yeah, the bears, they'll just run away. But yeah, the moose, they'll probably run at you and trample you and kill you. Right, thanks for that. Now I feel really comfortable about the routes that I'm doing on my own. Salt Lake City, something else. Day two, this is Greta the dog. Greta, I'm on dog sitting duties whilst I'm out here. Um, so day two, have I got over jet lag? Absolutely not. The Crusher in the Tusha is a 70 mile gravel race. And it's funny, I was reading the athlete's book and when I read Unbound, it was like the most challenging, longest ride. Then you read the Crusher in the Tusha book, it's like the hilliest, the hardest, the altitude. I'm like, oh God, every one of these has got like something crazy hard about it. But obviously that's what makes it Lifetime Grand Prix. So yeah, next week I'll be taking on 70 miles. We basically finish on a hilltop finish. It's basically up, down, up. Hope the lungs, you know, you're ready for that. But it's fine, I've got a week to get used to it, you know, feel the vibe, feel the rhythm. Staying with my dad's friend of a friend. Um, they're great, great couple. And I, uh, yeah, I'm staying here the weekend and they've gone off and I am dog sitting. So it's quite nice to have some friends. Greta and Racer, hunter dogs, wild things. So I was saying I'm in my G-Wagon. Apparently that means Mercedes. Didn't know that. Shows how much I know about cars. I just meant it as like my G car, like cool car. But it's a Jeep, so it's my J wagon. But me and my J wagon are off to Park City to go check out the beautiful trails there. Got my baby in the back, ready to rumble. I love this car. Day three of altitude training. 
training. This savage man. Oh. today today was better day yesterday was ridiculous i went with my friend dylan and his friend caleb and i thought we were doing a road ride and i rock up and dylan was like yeah caleb local guy he's got a cool gravel route for us i was like wicked five and a half hours day two at altitude it was a mountain bike climb i'm not even joking like, i just didn't have the gears for it my poor little heart rate was at like 177 a lot and I genuinely was in a hole like that was when I really noticed how much altitude can hit you like I didn't want to eat it was awful really but we laughed about it at the end um but maybe a bit too much for day two so day three today I just went for a cruisy road ride just literally tapping the legs out felt a lot better so hopefully we're starting to climb ties to altitude um yeah and then i've just been looking after these dogs and it's fourth of july coming up so there's lots of fireworks so last night was like i had a sleepover with two dogs basically top of Empire Pass. Mega 11k climb. Look at the views. I'm on day four at altitude. Um, after day two making a bit of a hiccup and probably pushing a bit too far. Um, yesterday I just did a local loop. Just kept it pretty steady. Now today try and do some intervals but we'll see how that goes. I'm only going to do like sweet spot max. Um, probably take my watts down by like 10% at least just because I know the heart rate will still be up but how good is this I literally love this place I could move here honestly it's like the best riding I've ever done love it I think I'm cursed by storms as it's just had I'm bound all over again kind of see the clouds in the background I am soaked. Sorry, a bit snot on my nose. And I'm only 10k from home, and that happened. Grill. Do they take, I think we take it off. My bike is How up there. Yeah. <laughs> bike is there. We're back here. How are we going to Good morning. It is Wednesday. We are three days out from race day now um, and I have just driven from Salt Lake City to Beaver where Crusher and Natasha will begin. Yesterday I had a lovely day off. The two people I was staying with we went for a nice little hike in the Sundance area if you've ever been. Totally recommend. Like, I really want to come back in the winter and see what the skiing's like because the resort was just incredible. Um, so it was nice to just have a bit of time off the bike Today I am going to go check out the first hill of Crusher, so it'll be about three hours. I'm going to be staying with Paige, another lifetime athlete. Um, and yeah, we'll check that out today. Do a bit more of a recce of another section of the course tomorrow. Pre-race ride Friday, you know how it is, a few little lung openers. Although I think Altitude's going to do that anyway, to be honest. Um, and then it's race day Saturday, but yeah, Beaver, so far. Mm interesting i think i prefer salt lake city like the vibe a little bit more but we'll see how it goes eh back with Paige. <laughs> <laughs> round three of lifetime grand prix and we're doing a recce together again actually i'm staying together for four nights <laughs> um we are just doing the back half of crusher and natasha um what are your thoughts it's <laughs> a lot of climbing. We're just going up yeah. and up and up. We're going up and down, really. Yeah, it's hard to do a recce on this course because we've had to drive an hour just to get this spot because you can only really go through the mountain ranges. But it's pretty. Woo! Off to 
find the grab. Cut up! <laughs> Day before race day, off to collect our packs. Feeling so, hyped? So hyped. So hyped. Yeah. We did a nice little shakeout ride this morning. Huh. Well, it's like a mountain bike. Yeah, it was a mountain bike course. <laughs> they were just testing our skills, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. Here we are now. It's not quite like unbound set up, but similar. We'll, we'll go Desolate. for it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Beaver. Race day. Wow, that's a nice look, isn't it? Um, today did not go to plan, unfortunately. Crushing the tusha was savage. Um, but on the first hill, I had some seat post problems. Um, it slipped, I tightened it, it slipped, I tightened it, slipped, I tightened it. Cracked in the head a little. Found a Shimano tent. They hammered a tool into the seat post and like torqued it as much as possible but the bolt was pretty screwed as well but it stayed up but then it was pretty much ride on your own for four hours um i got to a fun section where it was like tt mode and i was like a mad one on a mission trying to catch up but then i got to the hill and i was pretty cooked to be honest not the one but i still finished it could have easily just turned around and gone home but it's part of racing. You have one good result and about 10 bad ones. Well, that seems to be my case, but nah. You know, keeping positive. Should probably go for a shower now. But yeah, that was something else at altitude as well. It definitely couldn't put out the same what output. Mad. Where are we? Dairy Queen. Woo! <laughs> So I'm back in Salt Lake City, back by these amazing mountains. Couldn't stay in Beaver another night. I was so done with that place. What a place, what a name. Definitely a pass through destination. Um, yeah, yesterday's race, I'm over it now. I've had my little cry, but yeah, bike racing is just, it's a roller coaster, man. Um, like it was unlucky with my seat and stuff. Um, also, you're feeling a little bit flat on the bike. I think it's that time in the season, you know, you just need probably a bit more rest. This traveling's probably a bit too much at the moment. But flight home tonight, rest. Got a little bit of road racing coming up. Um, and I'll be back out here again in a month or so. But amazing experience, so much climbing. Can't believe yesterday, it was crazy. Unreal mountain ranges not such a good town to finish a last little ride before I head home. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry the videos are a bit slow aren't they?